Hey guys, so today I'm actually going to be depinning and reversing the injector wires for my OBD2 injectors. The reason why I'm doing this is because I believe that the wiring that I've done is incorrect. I wired basically the left wire to the left wire and the right wire to the right wire. Um, that's compared to my OBD0 injectors. But um, I'll show you guys right now what I mean. Okay, so here is my D16A6, and this is the injector wires, or the harnesses, from the OBD0 injectors. As you can see, let me get this loom off. Now, as you can see, the red and black wire is on the left side, and then the solid wire, which is the ECU ground signal, is on the right side. This red and black wire is equivalent to the uh, yellow and black wire on the OBD1 and OBD2 uh, injectors. Now, this wire on the OBD2 and OBD1, well, actually only on the OBD2, is reversed. It's on the right side versus the left side. So let's just put this loom back and we'll go over to my D16Y8. So as you can see here, just by looking at one of them, the yellow and black wire, which is this wire right here, is on the right side. And the solid wire, which is that wire right there, is on the left side. So what I've done is wire the red and black to the solid wire and the solid wire to the yellow and black, which is reversed. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to depin them and then repin them back. I'm not going to cut and resolder. That's just uh, going to shorten the the harnesses and that's not good. So I'm going to just depin it. So what I'm going to be using for depinning is basically a precision screwdriver set. I'm just going to use basically this mini screwdriver here and then also the little, maybe the smallest one here to kind of prick at it and pull the wire out. Should be pretty straightforward. Let's get some lighting. So as you can see on the injector harness, oh, my light's kind of bright here, is you see this little blue thing here. Um, this little cap, you have to kind of pop out and you would just kind of stick a screwdriver to the sides and just like flick it upwards and you can pop it out. The other way is just to get, a needle, get some needle nose pliers and just pull it out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try with the screwdriver and hopefully I don't drop it into the engine bay, but I'm gonna try with a screwdriver first. If I can't, I'm just gonna get some needle nose pliers and pull it out.
So here's a close-up of it. Um, so that's basically how they came out. Um, inside this harness here, um, it's, well, it's not really focusing. So it, on the bottom, there are two little tabs. You just stick a really flat, small screwdriver in there or a picking tool and just lift the tab and the, the two little prongs would just come right out. Now I'm just gonna reverse them and then put it back together. So now let's just repeat the process for the last three injectors and on to the fast forward. Alright, so now they're all depinned and repinned, like for example this one right here. So you'll notice that now the yellow and black is on the left side. So it's because I wired it wrong to begin with. So now this basically matches um, matches my OBD0 engine wiring now. It, it looks identical. So make sure when you wire up your OBD2 injectors that you match the solid wire with the solid wire and then the, the striped wire with the striped wire. Now it's time to fire up the engine and see if the rewiring of the injectors made a difference on the idle issue. Forms did mention that polarity didn't matter, but one point. I 
Oh, the idol's still weird. So that's all. I hope that was helpful and helped guide you through wiring your OBD2 injectors. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Cheers and thanks for watching.